Well, this is one of those rumors going around the internet. Maybe I should address it because, boy, they're blowing this out of proportion to the max. Now, the government could be screwing up. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, because, but they're definitely not ignoring the situation. You know, I mean, sometimes something could happen extraordinary that they don't foresee, but they're definitely watching the situation. Now, the situation we're talking about is the Boone Dam in Tennessee. And uh, it's, a, it's a hydroelectric dam. Uh, it, it created the Boone uh, Lake, I think it is, named after Daniel Boone. It's located in Tennessee between, around uh, Sullivan and Washington County. Let's see if you zoom out here a little bit. So you can see, you know, if we look at uh, political map, you know, here's Tennessee. It's over here. And here's Virginia. Here's North Carolina. Uh, it's, it's, uh, the, the, the big point, though, is that it's uh, downstream there's a couple of nuclear facilities, right? So there's where the big major uh, major alternative media gets involved. So it's right here, you know, in the Boone Dam Road. It's right here, I guess, right in this area. And you can see that's the lake that's formed. Now, the thing that's going on with this is that it's not the dam itself that's in danger. But what they picked up on is a large sinkhole in the earthen works that is, you know, part of the dam system, not the concrete system. And uh, what they've been doing, though, is they've been letting more water through the sluice gates to actually, you know, lessen, you know, lower the water in the lake itself, you know. So some of the people have been observing this, and they've been saying that the dam is leaking because there's more water coming forth. But no, they're actually lowering the water to err on a side of caution. In case there is a problem, but they are monitoring the situation. I don't know what the hell to do about it just yet. I mean, uh, I don't know what it's from. I mean, uh, fracking. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just guessing there. I mean, I don't know if there's any fracking in the area. That seems to be one of the big things that's causing crazy problems. But who the hell knows? I don't think there's any fracking in the area over there. But maybe there is. I don't know. Maybe there is. I don't know. But you know, there's a sinkhole happening, and actually, there's a lot of weird earth changes going on. And uh, this has been noted. You know, it seems to be a big drama thing right now, and I'm not, I'm not going to totally ignore it, but, you know, the thing is, the, the people that are in charge of this, um, they definitely don't want to screw this up. That's why they're letting more water out of the dam and lowering the lake, because it's, you know, just in case. They're trying to err on the side of caution. Now, some people are watching the water coming out of the dam faster, and they're thinking, oh, it's leaking. No, it's not leaking. It's they're deliberately letting the water uh, lower in the, in the Boone uh, Lake. So actually, this was been noted since actually tw uh, October twenty, Oct October twentieth, twenty fourteen. It's right off of Wikipedia, but I read uh, related articles, and I don't want to actually display those articles. But I was just trying to, you know, assess the situation first before I commented on this. But I just want to give you the background. So it's basically well noted that on October twentieth, twenty fourteen. During an in informal inspection, a sinkhole was discovered at the toe of the dam that allowed water to seep through. In other words, it's the earthen works. It's not the actual concrete structure. But still, it's you know, it could be very bad news. You know, I don't know. I mean, people don't know. See, as this thing actually starts leaking, it creates more water flow, which actually can you know lead to more leakage, more erosion. You know, it's getting into the, the bedrock, but it's a type of soft bedrock that could be eroded away, obviously. So consequently, the decision was made to start lowering the water level in the earlier than normal as a cautionary measure. And that's actually what's going on. People are freaking out, freaking out about, you know, whatever's going on. I mean, you know, they're seeing more water come down the river and they're saying, hey, the game's leaking. No, it's not. They're doing that deliberately as a caution. Uh, me, you know, the way I look at it, yeah, I, I would I would voice concern if I'm in an area, but um, you know, <laughs> I don't have total. I don't want to put it this way. They have total faith in the government and all this kind of stuff, but you know, they're not a bunch of idiots in the government either. You know, I mean, they're not all stupid for crying out loud. On the other side, you know, it's not like. Nobody's going to ha profit by this dam having a problem. You know, some people always got that doom and gloom thing. And they say, yeah, it's a conspiracy. They're trying to kill us all. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> the people that be running the dam, we get have a problem too. Because, you know, 
uh, their, their, their ass is on the line if we can keep things rolling the right way, you know? But me, in my case, you know, if I was living downstream, I get a boat, a raft, whatever. I mean, I got my sailboat. I just uh, renewed the registration on it for two more years. So if, you know, you know, the Department of uh, Highway, Highway Department looks out there in the high seas, if I ever get washed out into the water someday in Florida, hey, man, I'll be on my boat registered, you know? But, you know, come on. I mean, you know, it's like, you know... I mean, there's too many people worrying about stuff, but, you know, you can actually think of it this way, too. You know, I just put out that thing about, uh, you know, an Iranian cleric talked about a promiscuous woman causing uh, earthquakes in Iran. Well, maybe it's promiscuous women in Tennessee. I don't know. You know, according to an Iranian cleric, anyway. So if you really want to get into delve down the rabbit hole, it could be promiscuous woman in Tennessee causing this to happen. That's why there was a sinkhole in the, in the earthen dam that's adjacent to the actual concrete dam. So, I don't know. But, you know, I don't know a lot of people getting a lot of mileage out of this, and I don't really want to get mileage out of this, but I just want to give you a rational summary of what's going on. I mean, yeah. I mean, they really don't know what the hell to do about it. Okay? They don't. They don't. They're just lowering the water to make sure or try to make sure nothing screws up. But nobody is like, you know, got some kind of plot. It's not like, you know, the end is near and all this kind of stuff because, um, you know, they can always lower it. You know, I think you'll have a little more advanced warning if something was really going to break forth loose and they would just lower the water even faster. Um, they can, you know, do whatever they got to do. But uh, there's actually... You know, since it's been known since October of 2014, it's not something that's going to just happen out of the blue. Like, uh, you know, they're, compar they're almost comparing this since there's a couple nuclear facilities downstream from this. And I don't know what the repercussions would be, you know, if the dam broke or something. I mean, I don't even know what, what kind of accident that would cause, say, worst case scenario. But they're like actually making it sound almost like a Fukushima event could possibly happen here in the United States. Um, I don't, you know, I don't really don't think so because the Fukushima event that happened was a um, tsunami that nobody had any advance warning of. I mean, it had some advance warning, some hours, you know. But I mean, this they know about it months ahead of time, and it's like. If there's something that's going to happen, it's not going to be like it just happened, boom, it's just, it's coming and that's it. That's very unlikely. And uh, I do think they will come up with a solution. But anyway, you know, don't <laughs> don't underestimate. Um, I mean, I, I'm not like, uh, I don't know, I can't say I'm like blatantly pro-government. I got a cautious eye. But I'm not anti-government either. I, I just have a cautious eye on government, you know? They're supposed to make sure make sure they're serving us. But a lot of people are very, very conscious in the government. And it's not like this is some kind of, uh, you know, harp did this or some garbage, you know what I mean? Or the earthquake machine or some crap. I think it's just a sinkhole. I mean, sinkholes have been happening. And uh, they're doing their best to freaking, you know, remedy the situation. And they're trying to err on the side of caution, so... But boy, oh boy, man, you know, scaring people is profitable, you know, just like H.G. Wells back in, I think it was 1938, you know, and the Martians are going to be coming, and he kept telling people it was a skit, it was just a radio skit, you know, the War of the Worlds or whatever the hell it was, or the Martians invasion in 1938 on the radio, and it kept it, it kept interrupting the program, telling it was just a, a skit, yeah, people jumping off the freaking roofs, you know, I mean, chill out, damn it. I mean, that's, <laughs> I mean, you know, chill out, and if you're worried about it, do something constructive. So, uh, I had to address this, but, you know, I really don't like putting out these kind of videos, because it's almost like the video I put out about, uh, you know, the Ukrainian nuke, that they kept saying it was a nuke, and I knew it wasn't a nuke. I just get a lot of flack for putting out something like that, because if I tell people it's a nuke, they'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's great, oh, yeah, we want to hear that. I'm not telling people what they want to hear. I'm telling them what, you know, my best, uh, you know, is, you know, intuition and uh, deduction is that, you know, what is the actual truth. 
it's obvious that they don't know what to, exactly what to do about this, but they're doing the best they can, which is lowering the water in the dam. So, you know, there you go. That should make it fairly safe, I would think, because uh, it keeps a lot more pressure off of whatever's happening for the seepage. Uh, and it gives them, buys them more time to, f to remedy the situation. So there you go.